Welcome to the RVA Returners Podcast, your weekly source for all things Final Fantasy TCG. Continue. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. If you're running Starter Cecil, what are you hoping for? You're hoping for a 10k at the end of the game that activates some backups, right? Mm-hmm. Why not just run Connie Senna? That's my question for you. It has the same, it has uh, the evasion built in. It's good all game once you set up the backups. Easy to do. And um, if, the, if, if that water monster is actually a real thing, honestly, both those cards kind of get bad. They become 7Ks that can't be chosen by things. And that's not what I want out of a 5-drop. I'm liking Onion Knight much better than Cecil, just because he's under Diabolos, and he doesn't rely on a board state to be as good as he needs to be. Man, that's a hot take. That's man. a hot take. That's, that hot is, take. that's, that's as spicy as I'm those put, chicken I'll put my name on that, and I'll be... Oh, signed, I'm, sealed, I'm, delivered. You know what else is signed, sealed, delivered, boys? The next episode. We are one away from episode 50. This is episode Ooh. 49 of the RVA Returns podcast. That? Guys, welcome. Boys and girls at home, welcome. I'm your host, Chris Adams. With me, as always, Adam Lane. Say hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Adam. And you'll notice we're joined by the uh, the other half of the returner ilk. We've we got the whole family. The whole family. We we're got some Sun- Sunday dinner, baby. We got <laughs> Austin Archer and we got Adam Duncan. Hello, hello. Say hey. Hello. Yeah, that was not Adam Lane. Uh, Put it out there. <laughs> that was not Adam Lane's hot uh, take. On, on, the, on the starter set. <laughs> Ranting and raving yeah. about He was fuming. <laughs> it's pretty good. But, uh, you know, we got a lot to talk about today. Today was a big day. Um, actually, starting this, last night at midnight was a big day. You know, we had pre-release. Uh, some surprises happening in the pre-release kits. Some surprises happening in the community. You know, we love talking about this kind of stuff, guys. I, I believe there's a place... Where you can find all of this information in one, one, one spot, one, one hub, as it were. Um, I, I don't believe you'll find Wolf Blitzer. I don't think you'll see Anderson Cooper. I don't even think you'll see old Tucker Carlson. Do you guys have an idea where where that'll be? It's not Crossfire. I think that's called the news. Ooh. Okay, that made you feel good. So, first up, uh, the big thing that um, obviously in the community today was pre-release. Pre-release, pre-release, pre-release. Um, I didn't get a chance to play today because I had a birthday party to attend. Um, I know, Adam Duncan, you were in the same boat. Uh, Austin and Adam got to play. We'll, we'll get your, thought, your thoughts on how everything went and how the kits went. But the big surprise in the pre-release kits, guys... I believe some uh, some people, a lot of people, opened up their pre-release kits. Not only did they see a nice, shiny, full art Bahamut with the foil stamping, you know, Opus 7 pre-release. You got your Opus sleeves. 8, Opus 8, sorry. You got your sleeves of the matching art that also have a little bit of a shine to them. You got your six packs. But there was also there was a some full icing art on the cake. box topper. Yeah, talk about mm-hmm. icing on the cake. Um, did all three of you get one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my yeah. first kid had it, my second kid did Boy, not. so Same. I'm the only one in this room who did <laughs> that not. That is very true, yes. Because <laughs> got... well, you had cake earlier. Yeah. I, I, we didn't I, I have did cake. Have literal cake. So we, you know. you know. And that's fine. And that's absolutely fine. Because, you know, I think that card's fine as a one of, and I'll get the one on my box that I'm you know getting this week. And I'm sure I'll get one in the box. If not, you know what? I'll just get another box or I'll just buy one single. But I thought that was really, really cool. Yeah. I, I think... You know, my initial thought was it was probably a mistake. Whoops, uh, there was some, somebody heard the directions wrong. But then, as you start, like the reports start coming in, people are like, "Hey, half of our pre-release or everybody in our pre-release got a cloud in their box." I don't think I don't think that's a mistake. It no, was about seventy five percent. I think. Yeah, I, I honestly I think it's a mistake because I think they would have really promoted it if they meant to do that, you and they so? would have been consistent. Well, I, that's true. If it wasn't a mistake, it probably would have been at all. It'd have been yeah. like it'd been like a very Oprah kind of moment. Well, like, see, like, but yeah, look under your chair. I, I think I, I don't think it's a mistake because in Opus Seven there was kits that like were missing a pack or like were missing a promo, but like it was very like one off like it was like one kid out of like the whole set was missing it mm-hmm. as opposed to it being like this was this was legit i think 75 percent yeah, yeah. Of like th- this wasn't like, like one or two had, kids this was like yeah. a full i think box we had 16 people at the pre-release we played in somewhere around there 16 mm-hmm. to 18 and only one person poor didn't, jimmy. didn't get a cloud. yeah poor, poor jimmy, jimmy. Yeah, i traded in mine though so. yeah i mean because you got what eight boxes coming. i'm gonna have plenty of clouds <laughs> yeah so. yeah so, so, four so I, I might actually give one off of you it's somewhere. literally <laughs> the only final fantasy 7 foil i'm not worried about attaining. that's fair that's fair so i may actually talk to you about one as well well if, if, if you didn't have a promo bahamut you 
might feel bad, but, uh, you know, it's kind of, oh, accidentally they forgot or something like that. Or, like, um, all these past sets they've had, the uh, misprinted yep. foiling, and that was, like, a thing people were looking for. They have found, this is too good to accidentally leave out of some boxes. Yeah. But it's also weird that so many had them. That's yeah. a lot to be mistaken. But also, here's the hot take on that. Do we think, because some of them got put in pre-release kits... Do you think they're missing from the initial release of I mean, booster boxes? I hope not, but I, from what I've heard, like they're packaged in the box now. The, the Noxes were outside yeah. the boxes. Right, right. And they were just like giving in like a, a case. It's, for, it's like, like how Magic did their box toppers for yeah. their newest set. They're in the box. Well, that, I think that's like good. Sealed. But, I'm, but I'm hoping it wasn't because didn't like a lot of. I, I would imagine that a lot of this stuff shipped at the same time. I would have. So I would do assume. you think maybe it was a like an error where they were like, "I want to oh, say, these I things got put not. in the wrong box." I think I think there's one guy who is now fired <laughs> and that we don't know about, and we'll never know his name. He's been stricken like the from the Sanchez, records. Sanchez uh, six one four two that goes and shoots his boss. <laughs> I mean, I want to believe it was on purpose. I, I mean, we can't really confirm either way, but I want to believe that seventy five percent of those had it. it was seems like it was just kind of nice thing to do. I don't know. His name is Simple Kagiyama, but he's no dummy. <laughs> Get yourself a Simple Kagiyama Simple Wafer Cookie. I gotta go down to Carol in HR. Oh, that. <laughs> Carol! <laughs> Not only are these people real, they've been missing their mail for two weeks. <laughs> but I think, that, but I, I think that's really neat. I hope, I hope it was like it, you know, the Monopoly card bank error in your favor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, I didn't get affected, oh, but I think that's really cool. I'll tell you what, it was a delightful thing to open and see. Oh, yeah. Kind of yeah, felt like, absolutely. don't care what my polls are from a value Especially perspective. Especially like when yeah. you kind of heard from a couple places where, like, people, like, I think there are, like, people messing up with their distribution because, like, I, you heard from a lot of places, like, oh, no, I'm not getting a pre-release. Yeah. Oh, no, this is how, I don't know if it was... I don't know if it was shop error, if it was distributor error, but like yeah. once again, I feel like every pre-release something like this is happening where it's like, oh no, we don't get one. Oh no, we we got four and they didn't get it. It keeps us on our toes. That. I feel like that's the whole point of the game right now. They're just <laughs> random they're, 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 exactly like it just yeah. dun, 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 the dun, screen dun, dun, spirals dun, dun, away. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this whole game is that back attack from Opus One. Yeah, exactly. You never knew what was going to come at you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Scarmaglione on the bridge, baby. That's how it and is. And then Janae. No, they're hanging out from down the road, <laughs> from the top rope. But I think it was really cool. But um, like I said, uh, Adam and I didn't get to play in pre-release. Um, I think he was busy being domestic as well. Um, but you guys, Austin, Adam, you guys did. Um, you guys both did what X and one today? Yeah, I think yeah, we both had the same one. record. Yeah, yeah. If y'all, whoever wants to go first, yo, tell us, tell us about your. All right, so Adam, we'll start with you because Austin so graciously uh, gave up the ghost to the host. Um, what are your initial thoughts? Obviously, it's still simplified, sealed. It's pre-released. It's a casual environment. And you, I would say you're our resident limited expert. Um, sure. What, <laughs> what, I hear you're fair to Midland. Yeah. Much like the Dr. Pepper, I hear you're fair to Midland. Nice. He's no cheer wine. You're no cheer wine. But, um, so what are your initial thoughts on the limited environment of this set? Because just from the outside looking in, I think it's great. I like most of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's... It's pretty balanced around a lot of different cards. You have power cards. Like, I, a lot of people today were complaining about Archangel. I had three of them. So, like, Turns out. that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. um, but at the same time, there are plenty of answers to them. There's a lot. Because of the summon reprints, you have even more summons in this set. So, like... And they're all bursts, I believe. That's that's my biggest issue with the, mm-hmm. this virgin, or this limited, I guess, environment. It's, like, very burst-heavy. Mm-hmm. And bursts, while they feel bad in standard... They feel even worse than limited. Like it's so much worse. Like a seven CP Odin can win you a game in standard, sure, no doubt. But a seven CP Odin and limited it's is a problem yeah. winning it, you the it, game. It's a blowout. Yeah. Um, it's just you know, they set you back so far. But at the same time, I guess that maybe will force people to just play a slower game and go to five backups, sure. so that they're playing more efficiently, which will force you to kind of draft better. So maybe that's the idea. Mm-hmm. Um, but like overall, I, I think it's good. I'm just wondering because now, speaking maybe hyper locally, we didn't do a ton of sealed, been doing a lot of draft, but snow was a problem last set for a lot of people. At least their their thoughts. So, is there a snow card that you've seen? Archangel's probably the closest thing. I, yeah. I'll say this about snow in the last set, and I don't want to like go too far on it. Snow was a problem in simplified sealed, hundred percent. Like the fact that you didn't need to be in ice to play him, and in yeah. sealed you're just playing mm-hmm. off your packs, and he's a rare. Um, so it's a lot harder to deal with him in draft. There are way more options to deal with snow because 
Number one, not everybody can be in ice at your table. Like, it's just impossible. Mm-hmm. Um, there's only so many snows. People are going to snipe snows, even if they're not in ice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so snow's less of a problem in a draft environment, way more of a problem, especially in Simplified Seal, where it's like, I'm only playing snow. He's my only ice card. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter. Cause you can don't care. But, Pitching but the, cards and But the them. issue is with the EX Burst Summons is I can do that in draft, too. It's like, oh, cool, Odin's. I'm not in Lightning, but it's fine. If it comes off top, I'm going to win. Yeah. Yeah. And Otherwise, it's just CP, whatever. If you, if you, you somehow got... Because they've all been reprinted in common, by the way. So there's nothing that doesn't say you could have gotten an Odin out of each of your packs, and yeah. guess what? You could have used every single one of them. Yeah, for sure. Would you do that? Maybe. I would say... I'd still think Archangel is probably, like, the biggest culprit compared to Snow, just because he puts you on a three-turn clock and sealed. Yeah. Like, you're dead if he hits three times. You have to have an answer to him. Mm-hmm. And you can't just play a body because yeah. the, all they're doing is dying because he's a 9K when he swings. Yeah. So the, there are a lot of ways to dull and freeze him, though. Um, mm-hmm. I'll say ice. I think ice and fire are very strong in, mm-hmm. in this set, in my opinion. They have a lot of things that are just very efficient and cheap mm-hmm. and can hit you like pretty fast and still play efficiently. Wind is also very strong, too, because they can very efficiently get to five backups. Like, I, I was playing mostly Wind Ice today with enough fire to play my Archangels because I only pulled one fire backup in my six packs. Nice. Hmm. But I had three Archangels, and I'm like, I'm not playing that card. There's no way I'm not playing that card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but I was playing them off of Sherlota and stuff. Sherlota's really good, too. Yeah, turns out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I was able to go X and one. I lost to Curtis. Curtis had a lot of removal, just, like, a ton of it. Like, he was able to kill. I, I was able to play two Archangels, and they were dead. Mm-hmm. I think I got one hit in with one, and that was the only damage I might have done the entire game. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember looking at Paul and being like, Paul in Sealed. Or Paul was a problem. 100%. Yeah, yeah. But so is Archangel that bad where you like, you get, we're still playing a six damage. That's how much I know about this format, right? Six damage? Yeah. So he's yes. really like cutting the game time in half, literally, yep. if, he, if he sticks. Yeah, yeah and, and, and again, he's a 9K when he attacks. So and and you have a backup that can give him haste in the set too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, brave, so. yeah. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. Uh, but 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 again, I think there are a ton of answers. And if he hits one, if one of those two flips that he has is a burst, he's dead. Yeah. You know. So. And it turns out the That's reprint right. of Chaos Walker as oh, a yeah. common, oh, yeah. which means it's popper playable, boys and girls. It is popper playable. Mm. Yeah. Just throwing that out. That's a good point. I, I didn't even know Popper was still a format. That's a, it, that's a thing people are playing. And now it's even better. And guess what? If you're not playing wind, you're probably messing up now. But anyway, I think that's true about everything. Yeah. Well, it, it turns out. <laughs> Adam Duncan with the hot take. So it sounds like Archangel was your MVP today. Uh, I would say probably yes. Mm-hmm. But a close second was the 4CP wind backup that searched Crystal Chronicles backups. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, card's good. Um, it begins with an N or something. I don't remember the exact so name. It was very long. Russian. Yes. Um, that and then the other like wind her or whatever the heck his name is a two CP that like oh, it's kind of a small art green art I had that yeah. two of the searcher and one Charlotta and I was set every game yeah you're in good yeah. it's like war troll or something I don't know I'm calling it war troll from he's now the on. war troll <laughs> so it sounds like you had a pretty good uh, time so you're excited to play some actual like limited with this set would you say I mean I'm always excited to play limited even when it's not the best mm-hmm. but do you think this do you think I think it's solid like I said my only worry is just the high burst count that's fair that's fair. Now, Austin, what about you? How was you? Obviously, you said you had a great yeah. experience today. You went X and one as well. Yep. Tell me about you know your pulls, what was good for you, and just uh, your thoughts on you know this limited format in general. I uh, so I, I got a lot of good synergy cards. Yeah, you um, did. I, I, I got a uh, so I, I had uh, uh, Alba and Diane and uh, two, so good and two so Janays. So alone, like that was decent. Uh, I had two. Uh, you can just recycle. Them. Yeah, you yeah, just keep recycling Diana. them. Yeah. What, so um, I had uh, two. What was it Ali says the Ford? Yeah. Yep. Alpha knows the Ford. Alpha Ali knows. Says the so I had two Alpha know and an Ali say. That's pretty good. So that just felt good. Um, uh, I ended up having the the er, the wind or shit the wind um, the ice searcher that gets you get a, a light and a dark oh, card. Imperio. Uh, Imperio. I didn't have any. Nuts, I didn't man. have any light Fords, but I did have a Veritas of the Dark. The Dark Lord, that guy, mm-hmm. which was that won me a couple of games just because people were selling out for big forwards. Actually, and then you just drop them in. And yeah, I want to say one thing a card that was nuts for me, Medine. Medine, oh, the, the um, forward? Because no, sorry, it, the, the, the summon. Yeah. And it's, uh, I think yeah. it's another thing of how they're trying to push how you want, how you have to play it in this limited environment. You have to play slow. Yeah. Because, like, if you just try to, like, do all this stuff and I go to four backups, take three points of damage, and then cast Medine on you. You're dead. Yeah, you lose. It's, it just also, hands down. Also, Medine with Sherlota as your fifth backup felt great. You only pitch one card to 9K the board. Pretty good. Um, I was catching like three fours on the board a lot. I had two Medines. And I feel like oh, wow. I feel like with those new summons, three is the magic number. This one and Arc, I feel like if you catch three forwards yeah. on it, 
Yeah, I think it, it's in, worked. It works itself out. Yeah, I yeah. think I think in standard environment they're going to be a lot worse. But I agree. I, but in limited, I think they are. Yeah, the art does make it fine a Geo target. Yeah, I think. It's, <laughs> yeah, I think Madine or true. or if you can get Seabor off the top, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> but uh, good. I mean, I just want to do that one time. I'll be okay if I can just do that once. <laughs> but no, I think Madine's the better card in sealed. It's cheaper and yeah. it's cheaper when you play it. Arc, you're always paying ten. Yeah, that's fair. So uh, Impresario, whatever the guy's name is, does he get a card? Does he get a light card? So it's a light it's a forward, forward, but you have to pay to yep. get it. So he has like a like a kicker thing. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like you pay he's like the ice emperor, right? Like when he comes into play you could pay an extra ice. Sure. Get a light forward and then when he dies you can get a dark forward. It's forward though, yeah. Time. Yeah. Yeah, it's a forward each time. Which again, it's whatever, but it sounds like sounds like an Austin card. It, it's it, it's a card that I like I'm, like I saw it, I was like, this makes me happy. Yeah, I you, like you this. Had the searcher for it, yeah, so, so I had I mean I had a card that was gonna profit off it anyway, yeah. so I didn't feel bad. And then um I had two Pomptos, a Gladio and an Ignis, which I, I didn't get the Noctis, so it didn't really matter, but like still having two of the the uh Pomptos felt good. Um, and then I had a great, uh, I only had one of each of the cards, but I had Duncan, uh, uh, Edgar, Sabin, uh, Umaro, and Celis, which, uh, that just did so much work. I, and we'll talk about this later, but that Celis card, hands down, won me games. Yeah, uh, like, she, I think, she won me a lot of games. It's, really good. it's yeah. so good just to be able to dull something and get out of the way, and then, like, okay, I'm threatening an 8k, so, like, don't necessarily want to block and let it live, and or like you know trade, and something. then you freeze the thing that you just yeah. dulled. So I was using her to move stuff out of the way for Archangel. Yeah, yeah, like, like it just it did real. It I had, did awesome stuff. Yeah, I had Celis Umaro, who was really good in sealed, just because he's huge. Yeah, and if you can just get one ice back up down, you don't care. You're just swinging with a nine k every turn. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, backup sets her. That was how I was meeting my requirement for Celis. Yeah, yeah, and I like it was. Again, Umara was good just because you could just be a beater. Like, whatever. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think... I do like that this time around, the six cards are a lot more accessible so more people can play them. Because in Opus yeah. 4, it was all, all legends. legends and heroics. So, yeah. like, if you got one, you're like, oh, cool, I got one. But now it's like, cool, There's I got three backup there. set series. I've got Edgar's, here's Celis, here's Umara. I mean, that's, that just warms my tired old heart, that's yeah. for sure. Except for Strago and Realm, they were kind of me. Yeah, they yeah, are extremely me. But, like, Sabin, Edgar, Umaru, Celis were all really good. Yeah. I think uh, one of the cards, like, so I said Celis was good. Um, I think uh, one of the cards that was also super good was the the Puma. Again, in any limited format when you're able to get recursion, but yeah. also to pick anything that you want. So, again, you know, putting the Veritas in, getting rid of one of their stuff, trading with it for so for something, removing another character of theirs. Again, they choose, but then letting Puma go grab him and then get another backup, like... It, it made my choices so much easier because like, okay, I can just pitch this now and not worry about it and then grab it back later if I need it. Yeah, that's so right. that felt good. Um, I think the limited format for Opus 8 is probably hands down the best one we've had. Mm -hmm. in, just in general. I still prefer Opus 6, I think. But well, I, I do like it. I, I think Opus 6 was really good. I think, again, this was more focused on being able to draft. Yeah. yeah. Ironically, um, they printed all those summons at Common. I did not get a single one of them. That's so crazy. <laughs> I had so I so I, I lost to Curtis. Rough. He was my only loss on the day, um, and we both got to five damage. Um, and I because he had that scale toad, which is probably the dumbest card in the entire set. Um, because he had scale toad, I couldn't keep enough cards in hand, and I had an alley say to be able to play to swing for the final damage, but didn't have another lightning card to play it because I had a way to give it haste with the new, the fire backup, and just couldn't. Mm -hmm. So he was my I took like eight damage on the day. And like Curtis was six of it, That's so pretty good. but it is what it is. But I think I, I, I'm really excited about this this format. Mm -hmm. I think it's they they did a lot of thought into trying to make this a good draft format. Yeah. To to play in the Crystal Cups is that because that was going to be the push. I, I think they did a really good job. I'm super excited about it. Yeah. Um, just in general, and there's a lot of cool mini synergies. Yeah, that, I'm, that I'm play all about out. that. I think that's really good. Did you have an MVP card of the day? Uh, probably Celis. Sure. Um, though I did have a one of, of the four drop Shiva mm -hmm. and that like, it was probably overkill, but it won me two of the games just because again, it, it Dolan paved the way up to three things. Yeah. It's so nuts. The um, card is nuts. It, it just made it easier at the end, like knowing that it's there and it's like, okay, I yeah. just, and I don't care I'll take the damage. Whatever. When you play it, you're probably yeah. looking to win off of yeah, it. Yeah. Like you're just, I, you need the one copy and you're going to win off it most likely when you play it. Yeah. So. Even in like a win meta, you're like, that's fine. You, you need to have an answer for this. So yeah. no, it's another card you have to play around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. 
So it sounds like you guys had a good time. Now, Adam, like you and I were kind of uh, on the outside looking in. Um, when you opened, you, you got your kit. Yeah. Pardon me, you opened it. Um, what did you think uh, as far as, you know, did you like what you pulled? Did you think if you were to make a, 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 a pile out of that and play with it, would you have had a good pull? I think so. I'm very bad at limited. Um, well, I'm me okay too. at draft. I'm seriously, though, it's not even this, just this game. I've, I've never really had a good experience. So I, yeah. I, And I might even be in my head psyching myself out thinking I'm not mm-hmm. good. Um First of all, I just think that uh, having this uh, free buy box promo was nice, but then the sleeves are fantastic. Um, they seem to have increased in quality each mm-hmm. time we've been getting these. I really, really like them. Um, I got one legendary, and we were talking earlier about how we thought these kits might not be as loaded with mm-hmm. um, rarity pulls as some other ones have. So from a collector standpoint, I feel like I, I kind of got what I wanted to out of my six packs. Um, I'm, you know, honestly... I think that uh, seeing two Archangel, one Shiva, mm-hmm. that's probably the route I go. Just trying to be as aggressive as possible, which is, as uh, I'm hearing you say, I probably would have had a bad day it, because uh, that would that's not what the, the good players are doing well, on the field. Yeah, it's just I think if you like realize the card pool you're looking at, there's just a lot of ways to punish it. That's yeah. the issue. Yeah, It's like if you run into a Medin or an Arc, even though it's more expensive, or a Prompto if you go that wide. Um, yeah. And their opponent just builds backups and goes to three damage really quickly. Now, if they don't have an answer to Archangel, though, you, you just win. You, yeah, it's hands yeah. down. You just so so. Here's an interesting question. We we agreed, gentlemen's agreement in our uh, last pre-release that we weren't going to use Yuri because it was just going to become a game of who resolves Yuri first and they win. Turns out it was who resolves Snow first and they win. Mm-hmm. If you got a Cloud promo in your box, do you play with that boy? We said you couldn't oh, play well, with we, the cloud. We always ban the promos at battlegrounds. Yeah. We don't okay. allow the promos. Okay. But yeah. if you pull a cloud, I think you probably pull. I it. did pull a cloud, yeah. and I probably would have played with the cloud. Um, I didn't pull as many of the reprinted uh, summons as I as I thought, but they probably go in there because they all sort of serve as the removal in the set from my yeah. Im- my immediate impression. I I had a tough time actually resolving the new Alexander in sealed. Um, I ran one. And I, when I lost against Curtis, it just sat in my hand for so long. The one long. drop or the four drop? The four. Okay. Because mm-hmm. it just sat in my hand so long, and all of his backups were three or two, and all of his fours cost three. And, yeah. like, I literally had nothing to hit. That, that's a big thing about this. There's a ton yeah. of three cost I think it's a lot three of three CP drops, fours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, I just I wanted to play it because I had two ice backups and the heroic squall, and I was just like, I just want to use his ability. But I can't get rid I can't get this out of my hand. That's fair. I, I, I don't see a lot of bombs in my pool sealed other than uh, if I can run two clouds, then um, I probably do that. Um, now that I just, because it's in front of me, um, I want to call him Librarian, but it's not the name. It's a pretty solid card. Librarian. Weird, I had a lot of ruling questions. It reminds Librarian. me of, like, Memory Jar and Magic. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like well, that. So if I remove the top four cards, are they in a public zone? So you can never you have, look at you them. have to show them. And so then when I put one back in my hand, can I pick which one? Yeah, you pick it from Yeah, you that. pick whatever you want. But you're revealing the entire, like, you have to show... Yeah, those cards. Like your opponent yeah. has access to look at those. Yeah, cards. so I think it's war. It's five. It's, it's a just, solid limited card because it lets you look at more cards than you would normally see. Yeah, in standard, there's just better ways to do it. Yeah. yeah, I got a lot of filter in my cards. I just don't have as many bombs and not as much removal as I wanted. I think if you in limited for me, like having bombs is nice and they can swing mm-hmm. games for sure. But having a good value plan, yeah, is how you win games. Like it doesn't even matter. Like in especially in Opus Seven, like. You just needed four CP eight Ks. I don't care what the rest of their text was. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what it was. Yeah. You just play it, and if they had extra text, great. And if it came into play, great. But you're just playing bodies on the board, and you're like, you have to deal with this, or I'm just gonna swing past your stuff. Yep. And that was how you want. In this, there, I mean, there's a little bit more. There's a lot more synergies going on, I think, because the last lava one, spiders were good, by the yeah. way. Oh, yeah. People, just, people I, had, had lava spiders. I had two of them in my sealed pool, and I was like, screw it, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be greedy and put both no. in, and they were also really good. This might be greedy, but I'm probably playing all of my monsters. Because they're all like they're pretty solid. Good. They, uh, a lot of them give you like draw power or recursion, yeah. and that's yeah, really that's good. that's what I'm seeing. The two CP ice monster was really good for me. A dole and freeze on the way in, and then on the way out, make you discard. Heroic squall was nuts for me. I pulled two of those. Nice. Nuts every time. Every time he came in, you my opponent discarded a card, mm-hmm. and then I usually could develop at some point two ice backups. And if we ever went really long and had no cards, I was doling something. Nice. So, well, I'm kind of on the opposite there. Obviously, well, I didn't get a I didn't get a box promo, which is fine. Whatever. I'm not salty. But when I looked at my limited pool, if I if I would have been able to play this, 
pretty all of my foils but one were heroic or better. <laughs> so I pretty much got yeah. double shot power yeah, in every yeah, pack. Yeah. And I've got I got good ones. I got two uh, Veritas. I mean that's which I think is alone good because you know no one played in, you get a bomb like that and limited. No one's well, playing. Veritas around. is a legend. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got a regular and a foil. Like you you get the first one, no one's playing around the second one. So you're good to go right, there. Yeah. yeah, and I got the Puma to bring it back. I got like two or three Chaos Walkers. Um Jake, Lid, I got Steiner, uh, I got a Bahamut, like uh, the Warrior Light, which I don't think he's that great in this set because I don't think there's a whole lot there's of standard units. There's not much. There's like the sh- the Selkie. Yep. There's the Ford Astro. There's not much that you can abuse with him. Yep. Um, I got Bryn Hilders. Um, I got Lava Spiders. I got I got a couple Mateus. Like I got a um, couple of Archangels. Like there's like this is a good pool. Like I would I think I'd have been fine if I had to whip something up. Um, Jake from State Farm. Not Jake, I, yeah, I think Jake too. from State Farm is pretty okay. Um, and I got that really cool lightning backup lid or whatever her name is. Yeah. I think I think that card's actually really okay. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm I think sold. that card's really okay. I, I'm not sold on it. I, I mean, I think it's just decent later in the game, and I think I'm fine just playing it. We'll get into like our cards, and I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll explain it. So I actually like it for because of another card. Yeah. that I'm going to mention. So, yeah, so I think overall, clearly, sounds like it was a good time for you guys. I enjoyed opening my... Uh, I, I'm, I'm mad I didn't get the toy in the cereal box, but you know what? <laughs> Whatever. You I want, like, I, a Superman spoon? I would love a <laughs> Superman spoon. Yeah. But, you know, I, but I was able to get, like, you know, so, uh, some Ingus. I got, I got two Gladios already. Thank you for that, for the foil one, Adam. Yeah. So, like... Them boys are coming together. Oh, That's man. really what I'm looking to play. Yeah, let me tell you, all I maybe want to do is open more packs. D- oh, set. done! And I can't yeah. wait. I cannot wait till Friday when the set <laughs> yeah. releases. I'll be up at Battlegrounds. You're the, doing a real world versus road rules challenge with your deck, by the way. That's that's those buses are rolling. Real world versus road <laughs> rules challenge. Oh, by the way, we are doing a pre-release next Thursday at Jersey's, like the one this Thursday. What time? Seven, seven o'clock. I don't. I won't be able to make it. I get off of work at six. That's a bummer. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way I'm making it. It'd be between seven. rush hour traffic no, and hour no, and a half. I wouldn't get there. It'd be, yeah. it'd be over. It'd be over by the time <laughs> yeah. I get there. But it sounds like it was a good time. Purely sounds like it was, you know, I mean, I wish I could have played. I know there's one happening right now, which they probably all just left and went home. I, don't no, know a couple, I think like tomorrow. four or five people played. Okay. Um, uh, but as far as other news goes, um, I've heard the groundwork of a judge program is uh, I know people have taken the test. Um, I know. Um, there, the groundwork is being laid finally, mm-hmm. which I think is really, really awesome. Um, I, I think it's right on time. It, 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 it's like Gandalf, right? It's not early, it's not late, it arrived precisely <laughs> when it meant to. Um, but I'm glad we got it. I'm glad it's here. I'm glad the beginnings of it are starting to happen. What are you yeah. guys' thoughts on that? I'm yeah. just wondering if they're only going to let there be like four or five judges like in twelve. And they all have to choose one of those names and wear the armor, <laughs> and that's yeah. it. They There's only cl- five judges for the entire country. They around in the armor all day. Yes. <laughs> they get powered by Nethosite. Oh. Long as I'm not Bergen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bergen's that. The, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're more of a Zargabath kind of guy. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't know. I, uh, I, I, again, we, we've. It's been kind of clamored about for the longest time. I think it's good that we're finally getting it. Yeah, I agree. Um, or at least it's seemingly like that people have taken this test. And again, because it's something that's been needed. Yeah. Obviously, there's been some stuff recently, mm-hmm. you know, floating around. But again, just having the judge program to be able to kind of like solidify, you know, playing sharp and that everyone knows the rules and that someone's there to help enforce as we go through stuff. And again, also just adding validity to tournaments in general. Again, that, that was kind of the one thing that I think kind of lacked is that people were always worried if there's not going to be enforcement or that it, enforcement changes from store to store or event to event. Yeah. I think it adds that validity and just adds streamlines the process and makes it more it, it easy to play. It makes the competitive environment feel just like that. Yeah. Exactly. How long before we get like the cards? Yeah, like, like, like uh, DCI uh, cards it'll probably, or the it'll upper, whatever the upper deck power. <laughs> <laughs> David Buster's power card. Yeah, I remember yeah. having to carry that around. The UDE card? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I still have my DCI number. Like I, used I, to look up, I used to look up my ranking like every day. I did too. Yeah. No, I just hope, yeah, that, that, that becomes something you can track. And, yeah. you know, um, it has to be in order for you to like... Well, for one thing, it gives you like a ranking system, which is cool for everyone to look at. Just because like you just keep putting results in and results in and you have like... Yeah, it, it, like, it, gives more, it gives more control to the local level. Yeah. Allow, like, and then also, like, you, you can, it allows you to, like, put in penalties for people that are... Yeah, you know, absolutely. Stuff like that. So, like, if something... So, if you get somebody who has a now a known history of cheating or a known history of just just really, like, you know, collusion, things like this... Uh, just or the breaking, whole slow, a slow play thing that's right. been talked about for yeah. the longest right. time. I mean, it's so mainly just you, for, like, warnings like that. Because yeah. if it's, like, right. consistent, then... 
Yeah. Yeah, so you've got now now that stuff will be it's like, all right, well, it's happened again. They're six months, they're out. Well that's something. the thing, like people who cheat, it's not because they're stupid, it's because they think and oftentimes they are pretty smart. Yeah. And so they're doing it in a way that usually falls to being like a word of mouth type thing. Yeah. Uh, without a judge program, without something overarching to enforce it and put some marks down to be like, this person has a demonstrated history of this, not this person is something people said about this and someone, I heard this and I heard that. Yeah, so. it, it just, it just, it, it, it keeps honest people honest and I'm all about yeah. that. And I think and it does, it makes you, it does make you feel like there is some credibility, like you said, behind the competitive environment. Right. So I'm all for it. Right. I can't wait to see what, you know, how it ends up and I hope they let just, I hope they, it becomes like an open thing where it's like, hey, I want to take the test, contact your, your yeah, region sure red, and then it's just like, all right, cool. If you pass it, you can be a level one judge, yeah. or or something like that. So that way, you know, you can judge your local events if you have a win a box, or if you have something that you know these LCQs. If they need a judge, yeah. Well, cool. You're there. You can play. You can enforce the rules. Do you yeah. think that if this continues to grow, and this is way down the line, mm-hmm. I know I'm talking way far ahead, you start seeing like special promo judge cards and stuff. Ooh, judge promos. That'd be judge sick. promos. That like that would I'd be. be fine with it. It's already something I would probably do anyways. So yeah. yeah. I don't mind judging for the most part. It just sucks. You can't stream. It's really hard to stream and judge. Yeah. Yeah, but so I mean, like, but if, for us, right? we are all become judges, right? Then yep. we can have like we can run events at that yeah, point, like. Sure completely valid like we've got a stream we've got a judge we've got people like we can do the whole thing mm-hmm. and not just us like i'm just saying in in this realm but like again it, I, I think it's a super awesome thing that we're finally getting it and yep. it yeah. puts everyone on the same level too yep. because everyone if you have a judge like everyone has to follow that same concept so it doesn't matter if you're in europe or japan or here like everyone's following those or same north rules. dakota like, south yeah, dakota doesn't matter virginia, like virginia doesn't right. matter the rules are the rules and everybody's going to the everyone's on board with that now right so it, it i think it starts to kind of intermingle all the communities as well yep so all right, so last two pieces of news um i know people have mentioned it before um that we are streaming the tampa crystal cup <laughs> I almost said it again. <laughs> we're, not gonna, we're not editing this one out, though. We're keeping this one. So uh, and that, that'll just be something for funny for the blooper reel. But any old who. So, yeah, we are streaming the Tampa Crystal Cup. So RVA Returners will be down there running the stream for that one. And all four of us. That's actually yeah. kind of why all four of us are in-house now. We're, everybody's getting familiar with the equipment and things like yeah. that. So you're going to have a... You're going to have a, a you know a real solid you know production for you guys. So I'm really excited for it. Um, I think it'll be... I think it'll be good for everybody. So I'm really, really excited. Can't wait for it. And that's in a couple of weeks, actually. It's what three weeks? Three weeks from three now. Weeks away. Yeah, yeah we are T minus three weeks. And um, you know when you think about that, that is that is a that's a that's a short amount of time to start grinding these oh, decks. Oh, that's going to be a wild I am, west. I'm happy that I am not. Playing <laughs> yeah, correct. yeah, that's that that correct. Crystal Cup is going and to be the wild west. I've told a lot yeah. of people that are in this area that are planning on going. I'm like, I feel sorry for you because yeah, I hope Sunshine Games has like two saloon doors. <laughs> and I'll tell you right now, the next three weeks, I'm going to quote the great Gary Clark Jr. Opus 8 is my buffet. I'm not looking to compete. I'm just looking to eat. And I am happy I don't have to go down and compete. In the next three weeks. That's the title. That's the title, boys. I'm just looking to eat. There it is. Make a note of that. That's the name of the episode. Lord. That's, you're absolutely right. You're yeah. absolutely right. But no, I think it's going to be really hard to figure out what's going to be really good in three weeks. Like, Yeah. I think, I think you're going to see a lot of safe stuff. Like, if, if I was playing... I would be on something super safe. I, I would, like, real talk. Oh, yeah. If I was grinding out a deck, it would be, like, mono win, win one. Yes, or something. Yeah, 100%. There's five slots of mono win. I already know what I'm slotting in, and that's it, because I've got reps on that. Mm-hmm. Hats off to anybody who comes out and wants to oh, be Oh, you're going to see it. That's, that's the problem. Yeah. It's like, you're going to have people that are playing safe like me that are like, man, I really want that world spot. Like, I'm going to play it really safe and play something that can deal with a lot of things. And then... Five color so, ninjas, but, but there there are going to be things that you just <laughs> can't prepare for. No, yeah, the the um, I always think can this deck beat Jank? And right now, no one knows the answer to that because everything's no, Jank. No one, everything yeah. is Jank. Yeah, exactly. that's that's my, my my so my decision rule for what I play doesn't exist right now. It's oh, it's wild, out the window. Wild, wild I, I feel like yeah. in a situation like this, you just have to play something you are comfortable on. Hundred yeah. percent. But there's gold in them there hills, but <laughs> yeah. But thankfully, thankfully, there's a something happening locally. That oh, will yeah. allow us to play yeah. some some Opus Eight. So, uh, Adam Duncan, this is happening in your neck of the woods. Why don't yes, you tell us what's happening? Well, we've got a we got an exciting kind of first of, of a series. We're gonna do a monthly win a box down at uh, Jersey's in Yorktown, and I think a couple of folks are gonna come down for it. But um, we got a, we got a box with a cloud promo on it for sure. That's going into uh, mm-hmm. going to number one. 
Um, and then every every eight or ten people above the minimum, they're just throwing another box on the prize pile. So um, so that's you know if you're planning on coming um, and you're listening to this right now, if you haven't responded to the Facebook group or reached out to somebody like that, could help the store a lot with uh, preparation. But we also have a set of wind water elemental dice. That's probably one of the prize pool, not necessarily a, a um, and uh, a giveaway like we did that. That's from uh, Band Band's Final Fantasy Corner mm-hmm. and uh, a couple other goodies. And Noctis buy a box promos in the in the pot. Might have some other fun stuff that we find along the way. But mm-hmm. yeah, we're really looking forward to that, especially because it's the day after the set officially hits the shelves. Yeah, so talk about the wild yeah, west. Yeah, yeah, and it's already in a scene of, of people. That's who Magna are Carter. Heavy. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, we had people dropping Raidens on Chris last week, left and right. So uh, Still didn't win the tournament like I did. <laughs> That's true. Gotcha, boy. That's true. <laughs> but, uh, uh, no lie, as soon as I saw that first Raiden go to damage against Josh in the finals, I was like, oh, it's party time. <laughs> 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 yeah. Never yeah. looked back. Now you got to play around the prompt, though, after that. Well, well, yeah, like, now i got to play around the prompt, think, I think, too, though, though like, we'll probably have at least like 20 people at this event. I think like. So. Just with like our local community, so like I think this has like could be actually a pretty big yeah, like oh, kickoff yeah. to open. Well, yeah. and you think too between in this region, uh, many players qualified for nationals. Um, we may see uh, Mr. Nance and his crew. We might have a world qualified player coming down. Like, uh, did Nick very, Chanel say he's supposed yes, to be? Yes, he is. Yeah, so we got some Pennsylvania uh, representation coming too. Lot, Shout out to Jake and the gang. A lot of talent. So yeah. I think you'll definitely get a glimpse of what of some things to come. Who mm-hmm. who can innovate with a week of FF decks and a day of cards in their hand? Yeah. We'll uh, see how far we get into what the real meta looks like, but I think we'll see some glimpses of what to expect. And, and speaking of FF decks, boy, they just really they just really that? went under. They didn't even say a word. Yeah, they just yeah. did it. They were like, I just, I remember like it wasn't there, and then like <laughs> it was there. Just this is not a drill. <laughs> it is live. I was like, oh, because I, I was just, I was just dicking around like building another deck. I was like, well, let me start doing my proxy key. Yeah. Oh wow, that's prompto. Boop. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. You know, they probably uh, are owed more than than. Even though I've never heard anyone say bad things, people love FF decks. But talk about a champion just having that. It's such a clean yeah, that's such site. an amazing thing. Is so much. I, I, I couldn't live with so it. And it's rare seamless. to find a bug. It's so yes. every, and every time, like, well, like I know it happened with this set too. Where like I was like, man, I really hope F Dex like goes up so I can make my decks. And they're like, oh, there's this other site that does it. I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to put it on there. I want <laughs> yeah. it on here. Yeah, yeah. I, want, I want it on this. Like, this, the, this the it's, it's definitely the premiere of like. Well, and it yeah. lets me do my little tinker stinker in the morning. You know what I'm like? <laughs> I look at my yeah. decks. And then you can like draw like sample hands like oh that's some pretty good it's it's a, yeah. it's all that you could want so uh, those guys, those guys yeah the so uh, Wells Walkers in those guys yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 thank yeah. you yeah. gentlemen yeah. yeah Corey Fay I think is part of that team He's and I know um, Wayne I think is one of the guys who does Wayne does octagon he does octagon okay, oh okay. that guy's a champion too yeah. two two edible arrangements that we owe uh, <laughs> yeah at, at a minimum <laughs> do you want chocolate oh boys <laughs> oh boy bananas <laughs> but um. So yeah, like um, so I'm really excited about that. That's next Saturday. I'll be there, and it's also not just a win a box too. It's also we're doing we're we, we it had is, mentioned it, it before that we day. try we had this community community day. I don't know yeah. why I can't say that <laughs> this community day planned, but that was before pocket closed, and then that we just had the hurricane. Got, yeah, 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 the hurricane. Yeah. It just got put on the back burner. So it's it's gonna be nice to do that because I know I yeah. I know 100 percent I'm gonna play in the event. But I'm also going to have some some stuff with me so I can do some gunslingers for people. I don't 100%. know if we want to if you want to bring the stack of the chapters foils again. Yeah, so I'm definitely can, planning on bringing those. Well, down and so them. we're going to like show up at the store around 11:45 or noon and mm-hmm. just be there, yeah. being saying hi and being like an approachable with some of those uh, learn to play decks with some starter decks mm-hmm. and just doing what we can to try and bring people into what most of us believe is a very superior card game. Yeah, that, uh, you know the. the it's our hope and our uh, working assumption that you got to do these things every now and then to just uh, be approachable and have some new people come in the door. And that, that's that started as a goal with this. Uh, Jerseys was willing to do a win a box, and that's really exciting. So I think yeah. we'll, we'll see. It'll turn into like a, a new player welcome day to like a community celebration type. Hey, yeah. let's all get together and uh, jam some games for some prizes. And but, then there'll be a real boss hog tournament happening. Yeah. So <laughs> you're actually going to get the you know. spectrum yeah. of, hey, I'm new to... World I'm, qualified, I'm a seasoned veteran, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. world qualified. Let's jam. Oh yeah, you know? oh yeah. So um, it'll be fun. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. And that's uh. So that's really a, it for the news this week. Um, so I think what we want to talk about here. Um, obviously we've got cards in hand. Opus eight has been spoiled. Um, 
our set reviews are actually being, we're working on our set reviews now. We've already done a couple of them. We just haven't put them up yet. Um, I'm doing some different stuff with this. That'll look a little nicer. So. Yeah, so we're going to crank the rest of those out this week and hopefully have them up before uh, before full release of the set. So what I want to talk about is I want to go around the table. Um, I think the set's really good overall. Um, I've got some opinions about some cards and more about the others, but what I want to do is, you know, this is first glance. This is initial impressions. We haven't really had a chance to really put a lot of these cards to paper outside of the simplified seal. So I think, you know, not all the interactions are the same. So what I want to do is I want to go around to everybody. What is the card in each element in this set that you're excited to play and why? Which element are we starting off with? I think we'll start with fire. fire. I think fire, fire is to start with... You should go in order. Also yeah. start from worst to best. So it's, you know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like the, much like the binders and the cereals. Yeah. So, so Adam, <laughs> yeah. if, you want to, if you want to lead off, go right ahead. So mine's Brent Hillary. No, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably still Archangel, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not... Super big on a lot of the fire cards in the set, sadly. Yeah. I do think Edgar is very good. I think Edgar is yeah. the best fire card in the but, set. But I don't see myself playing a lot of Final Fantasy VI, really. I mean, I may, maybe I will. Well, I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's fine. I do think he's probably the best fire card in the set, for mm -hmm. sure. But uh, Archangel, I feel like, interests me more. It can let me do a different game plan, I guess, where I'm like, <clears throat> can put my opponent on a pretty fast clock. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at maybe like Water Fire or something. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, I think he's still pretty strong, but he's definitely like, not super hard to deal with. Like, there are a lot of answers to them. Yeah. So I'm, like, pretty medium on them. But I'm pretty medium on, like, a lot of these fire cards. Yeah, so. and honestly, it doesn't get much more medium than the one that I enjoy. Uh, that I, The card I'm most excited about in fire is actually Duncan. Oh, 100%. Um, yeah, I, I don't think he's a great card. He is so reliant on Sabin to really maximize his potential. But the reason I like the card, I, I think he is a, you know, a, a, a two at his best, if yeah. I were to put him on a scale of one to five. And it's because... But I, I think he's good because he's just another great six card that you can play that he puts 4K onto something. He's going to hit something relevant. Um, he 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 was pretty much what the old Opus 1 Furion was. Yeah, it wasn't but, a terrible card. But he, yeah, it wasn't a terrible card. It was a one or two of in the deck, depending. Yeah. But what I like about Duncan over that card, I know that card kind of got pushed out by like Laswell, but you, I think you can run them both. And the reason I like Duncan is because he interacts with 90% of the deck. He plays well with Edgar. He obviously lets Saban do something more than he has been doing. Um, he can trigger lock. So pretty much he has an S, he has an ETB, and he has a relevant category for the deck. So I think that's good enough. He's not going to light the world on fire, but he gives me another body for six that I think is relevant. I'm going to piggyback off you because that's my answer too. Yeah. And and um, the only thing you didn't say is that... Uh, S abilities are um, they're hard to evaluate for me, but his is not because it is just S and dull, mm -hmm. and that to me looks like two CP removal because mm -hmm. you're probably you're probably breaking something if you're dealing at eight or more. His power yeah. scales pretty comfortably, mm -hmm. especially because you got Edgar serving a role like what Waka did for YRP made it like way better than I ever thought it was going to be. I didn't know that was a card that would make YRP incredibly annoying to deal with. Yeah. Um, but Duncan, I just. Also, like, I forgot all the other cards in the set when someone showed me that card. It was spoiled. It's just on flavor alone and the art and just coming out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy VI gets a legendary. I was just... And it's not like... No disrespect if this is, like, your favorite card, but Opus to Tifa legendary. It's not like a card that's just... Oh, I could dream of how that card would be good, but it's probably just bad all the time. Like, no, it's not... Uh, it's definitely one that I'm going to build around and have fun with. Um, yeah. Already got a list. Just waiting to find two... two uh, to, to dunk in the gym in there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Austin, what about you, man? Uh, it's probably because uh, all the fire cards are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I uh, Truthfully, it, it, this might be a cop-out, but I'm I'm really excited uh, to just play with the backup that gives Haste and Brave. Yeah, that's fine. I, like, it, it's, it's stages four through six. I mean, it, it, yeah. I feel like it just adds such a unique mm -hmm. like aspect to it. And again, like... Brave isn't really, I think, a, a keyword that we're is it's, it's probably the least important keyword now yeah, in kind of I what we're doing. Agree with that. Um, but again, if if we're looking at these, you know, specials like if you're looking at Duncan, you play your Duncan, 
swing with him and then you know do whatever I mean I like you can do all sorts of crazy shit you can play yeah. that play that guy swing with him and then do his special and blow something else up too it makes like, the, the it gives, dream of the news a day a lot more approachable too yeah well it's, like, only, it's fire only yeah it is fire never only mind. never mind yeah. it's, um, it's still but okay. still I mean I just I think that it just could be pretty fun yeah at, there are lists know. that want three of, uh, of those yeah and it's, it's I don't know it's not bad again swing with Put in your Zell, blow up a, a thing, swing. You know, yeah. I don't know. It, whatever. Yeah, I, it's it's, it's, it's a cop out. Go, I know. You want to go? It's a cop out. I know it is. But, but I, uh, I will say, I think Edgar and Marsh are probably the best two fire cards in the set. Yeah, I think Marsh. Marsh, is, yeah. Marsh yeah. I think if there's an honorable mention amongst the table, it's probably. Yeah. I probably agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Marsh. Marsh's is good. EX puts them way over. He, that card's. Um, I think it's going to be overlooked. It's yeah. just a really, really good card. Yep. All right, so next we're going to move on to Ice, Adam, which we'll keep the same order. Go sure. Um, so Cards you're most excited to play with? Probably like to build around. I feel like there's some, a pretty good amount of strong cards. Mm-hmm. For me, it's probably Scale Toad. I'm interested to see like how good it actually yeah. is uh, because it seems very annoying. Mm-hmm. I do think it's slow, um, but like if I can get it online and not get punished for it, I feel like my opponent's going to have a bad time. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is at the weird spot of 3 CP where it's like harder to deal with unless people are playing different monster removal mm-hmm. going forward. Um, Wind probably has the easiest time dealing with him, but mm-hmm. I just feel like he's going to be super annoying. And then maybe a close second would probably be Garland just because he's interesting, I think. He's very interesting. I, I think he's more crippling the earlier you play him. Yeah. I had a little bit of trouble against him today because I just didn't see things that were allowing me to kill him and I was just getting yeah. taxed like every turn. He's kind of like, he's, well, I mean, he's kind of like the Opus 3 Kuja in a sense, right? Kind of, but passive. Like, he doesn't have to attack. Yeah. 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 But he is small, so. For sure. Um, if I had to pick one, um, I'm also going to keep the six train going. I actually really like the new Celis. Mm. Um, I think, I know we kind of talked about that earlier, that... That card right now might be every bit as good, if not better, than the legendary, just because of what it does. It it, it especially depends on if you're, what type of archetype you're playing. The fact that like especially in like a real fast fire ice deck, you you play that if you've got if you just have banana Sid and Edgar out because she counts herself. Yep. She's gonna swing, move something out of the way, and then Archangel's coming in hot for two. So, I mean, and then if Celis did damage, she's going to freeze whatever she doled if it's a problem. Um, I think that card's really, really good, and it's on curve. Uh, with Duke Larg, it's an 8K. With Edgar up, it's a 9K. I, I think that card's really, really good. The, and the fact that we that it can't exist in a deck with the Legendary, because guess what? If the if it, the deck call, if the, the board state calls for the Legendary, now you've got this one Fire. for, for Runic. Now you can just yep. be like, boop. Yep. Yeah. So I, th- I think I think Celis is just really really good, and I, I'm I'm surprised. I'm I'm actually like legit surprised of how good I think that card is, and just how good it is just in practice. Much better than the what the Opus Six or Opus Seven. Yeah, it's way, it's way better. Than yeah, that. like this like this one. The, the fact that this card is I think on the same level as the Legendary. I, I agree with that a hundred percent. Yeah, I mean when I got to play with it today, it changed my mind a little bit. Yeah, yeah sure. that card's good. Uh, I'm going to keep it brief. I think I have too much to say about another element, but um, mm-hmm. Setzer is really standing out to me. The backup? Yeah, yeah and I, I don't know that. why, because I think the forward Setzer kind of just feels better because he can go get a backup, but mm-hmm. the EX seems good. I mean, there's so many specials in 6 that maybe you want to use. <clears throat> feels like it'd be fine to have a lockout, get another lockout, and just do a little Mirage Dive. Um, Come back for, for the, seconds. <laughs> yeah, for the low, low cost of... Uh, you know, uh, four CP backup. We which did. Which Technically, he's a two CP yeah, backup. Net, when you... Netting two, and then so um, yeah, I, I I'm not huh. I'm not uh, I'm torn because a forward's good, but I really like him. I really like his. EX. I, I think you you can play a deck where you run two forward, one backup. I yeah. legit yeah. think that, especially if you're because I I think I've talked about this before. I think I talked about this when the card was spoiled. The fact that a card like Kuja exists means you right. can play the backup, get your card back, and then. Break it to Kuja, and then you can play the forward again. If well, and, and if you're playing Setzer, you're all you are playing Lock, and mm-hmm. the more six backups you have, the happier boy a, lo- a Lock's going to be. Correct. And and so that's that's what's really appealing to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I dig it. Awesome. Uh, this might be a trap card, uh, but that time mage. I like the card too. That, I think like, the card's legit. I I yeah. think that uh, granted, it's I mean okay. you're discarding, but like. I think it's worth it. It could I, be very worth. I, it. I think it could be very well worth it right now. It's not targeting either. Yeah, it's it's not targeting. And again, like if you're like 
whatever, I don't need to worry about my Genesis in hand. Like, I'll just pitch that and dull all the fours. Or, like, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you want to do. Like, I, I think that card is, 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 it might be a trap. It might be, it might not be as good as I think it could be. Um, because it's kind of like the, the arithmetician, but you don't have to... I think the thing that saves it is it can, you can, um, you can gladiator this card. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Can't gladiator arithmetician. Turns out. Um, yeah. That and, is right, and it's on curve. It's an on curve body. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. And I, but I think uh, the meta will have to shape up a little bit more before you can kind of like see what what you need to put in your deck to make him good. Yeah, but I think he's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I just think it's it's it's, it's a decent card to play. But uh, in all honesty, if if you don't play Shiva in ice, you're wrong. Yeah, I think the new Shiva is my. If I had to pick one on, and we're talking about Shiva. the good Shiva, by the way. Folks out there in the world, yeah, the not four the, CP, not the, not the burst one. They're, yeah. one. They're both four. Yeah. But the one oh, and the other one, yeah, not the yeah. pixelated one. Yeah. <laughs> the one that I think the art's beautiful, by the yeah, way. I, I, don't know, I bet that's a beautiful foil. I, I, the, Austin, no, it is. Austin gave me a foil. Yes, yes. Nice. it is yeah. gorgeous. So it is a beautiful foil. It's pretty good looking. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to move on to wind. Mm. So go I, ahead, Adam. I, what you got? I think wind got an upgrade in the set, which is absurd to me. It's it's unacceptable. But if I had to pick one that I'm like most excited about. Probably Sherlota. Yeah. Mm. Because I feel like that card is broken. Mm -hmm. I just need to figure out how to break it. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like she's going to allow for some stupid combo that you shouldn't be able to do. Mm -hmm. Just because of you can just play like whatever card you want with her. I just don't like that it's a win card that I'm like forced into green. But it's fine. Um, it could also be good in like a monster deck maybe or something. Maybe yeah. you can run like like a wind water monster deck and still play your three Shantotos. Mm -hmm. Seems okay to me. Um, so yeah, I just think she has a lot of... Sure, her ceiling is high. Yeah. And I like that in a card. Yeah, that's fair. Um, and I'm also going to keep the, the broken green tra train car, green card train going. I can't say that either. That new Warrior of Light, mm. that card might be broken. <laughs> that yep. the, I think it is. The fact that, like, the fact that it just... Because Wind Water Standard Units is still a very, very real deck, as we've seen from the German Crystal Cup. The fact that you can start playing some of that stuff for essentially free, or some of these cards start netting you CP. Yeah, I think I think when you play with Sid too, at least that's that's the idea I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. You're gonna start netting CP from the card. Um, also, like when you gladiate or something in, mm -hmm. it triggers as well. Yeah. And then when he swings, he's making your guys bigger. I think he's just better than the water one. Yeah, because also the fact that you can like play, have this guy on the board, have him protected with like Yestola. Yeah, just so they, they try to kill him. Then you just start playing dudes. And then it's like, cool, I'm going to play this knight for free. I'm going to play this ranger for one. You know, like, yeah. you, you just start, you can go wide, and then you can go wide without really spending anything, and then you can just slam Cloud of Darkness. And then you're just like... Yeah. Or you can just play Crystal Chronicles with it, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, it's, like I, I think that card is insane. Because, like, think of it this way as well. So, I don't want to, like, spend too much time because we're already, like, 50 minutes. But, like... You play Warrior Light, he lasts for a turn. Let's say he lives, because mm -hmm. they let him live for some godforsaken reason. Yeah, that, that's a card you kill. You play... Immediately. Let's say, like, Yuri also is already on the board. Like, they're just, like, already on a tough spot. I think the game is just over at that point. Because, <laughs> oh, because yeah. now because now I get two Yuri activations. Like, let's say I have three and two backups, like the sweet spot for Yuri, which mm -hmm. isn't hard to do. I get two activations off Yuri. I can now play, like, a knight from hand, untap. Play another like knife from hand, untap, and then get like another Yuri. Like, you can do like so much crap with it. And then if you have Sid two out too as well, like you can make stuff net CP. Like I'll take a Ranger that gives me one CP. And the fact that the fact when it, when you get if you get to attack with that guy, your standard units are already big. Mm -hmm. Now they all get two K bigger. Yep. Yeah, I think he's really really insane. Real good. I want to see a Gunslinger uh, challenge. How many times can you outhandle him in one turn with? Uh... Or your light oh, standard unit package. There you go. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna cash in all my other ones. I have three, so I'm gonna go after go. Austin. So I don't take one of his. That's fair. That's fair. Austin, go ahead. Uh, I don't play wind. <laughs> well, then let me take wind, one of his. wind and water are not my things. Uh, I will say, um, a card that I'm interested to see. I don't know if it's gonna like fit into wind builds mm -hmm. right now. Um, but I'm interested to see what Waltrill does mm -hmm. because you get that mini. Uh, Artemisian effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, in if you're just running mono wind, like, the fact that you're going to be able to, like, sift through and just find your combo pieces yeah, in and of itself. 
Yeah, like Auto it's, Win does not and, need and, another one. And it's volume. a free breakable as long as yes. you have the other backup too. Yes. Yeah. So I mean I don't know. I think that card's I think that card's gonna be super busted. Yeah. It's a in, little tiny piece of one of mine. Yeah. So I, in order of least to most excited, uh-huh. I'm gonna lead off with Death Gaze. Death Gaze I knew, no, I knew you were is say super that. good. Um, he's really hard when you look at cards that deal with monsters. He usually gets around a lot of them. This set got some with Alexander, but uh, I don't know uh, if there's a better rate to kind of look at just remove a big problem that Yuri and Chalinka can deal with for some reason. That's mm-hmm. pretty decent. Number two, um, I can't remember the Russian sounding name of the 4CP FFCC backup. Norse just... Stalin. Oh my gosh, dude. That card is disgusting. I'm jamming three in because if I draw in on my opening hand, and that's the only backup I've seen, I have two backups starting hand. Yep. Or, potentially, I, I just, I can't say enough, because you can go get out of and just start your turn, you start that, your game. You can get Alaria. You can get Alaria, and then go get your, your Chalupa. Yeah, well it's disgustingly yeah. good. And that ability to thin your deck and to find your backups, which is something Wynn really wants to do all the time, they want to have backups out, Does, We already the Seed Sayer package was already very good. Yep. And this is better, in my opinion, because the cards are better. But honestly, I think the card I'm most excited about it brings me back to the last time I was here with you fine people. We were looking at a card called Vada, and we said, is a free forward really what Mono Wind needs to yeah, be I was wrong about that. We were all wrong about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be wrong about Onion Knight. It may, again, I'm looking at it the same way I look at Vada, and I'm like, oh, you know, maybe, 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 maybe it's good, but it's an mm-hmm. EX. I think in a very tight list, I'm still jamming two in, yeah. because it could be free, or better yet, you could pay a little bit more for it and just recur Al Hanalem triggers, which is something the deck is very comfortable doing. And um, I really like that. I, I think all three of those cards are super good. They're tools the deck didn't need to be good, mm-hmm. and they got, and, but they're better than what they had. We're yeah. not even talking about Alexander. Is that the one you talked about? No. And and I, there was another one that I'm really excited about too, which is Yuffie. I really want to build her. I feel like she might be the best Final Fantasy Seven card in the set. Yeah. I didn't expect that Mono Win would be upgraded like you said. I just yeah, they, they, boy, they just it's like it, it, it's like RoboCop getting the jetpack in RoboCop. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't need it, no. Yeah. But now he's but, now he's fighting crime even more efficiently, <laughs> and that's what Mono Wind is doing. Yes, Christ, I, I, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I probably want to play this weekend, mm. and I, I don't know what uh, does. It's it's gonna. I think it's a list now. I already thought it was, but I think it's a list that's kind of like. Um, so optimized that I don't know what future sets are going to offer. Yeah, and, and without power creep, which I don't think this. Well, game what do you give the man? Good. What do you give to the man who has everything? Yeah, yeah. better I, sleeves. That's, that's, <laughs> that's all I'm looking forward to. A new necktie. Sets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Right, so now moving on to Earth, um, Adam, what do you think? Uh, so not a lot of Earth cards are exciting to me, especially since like we found out Moon Knight was a little mistranslated. <laughs> but it's probably I'm probably still going to pick that card. I think it's still good. Um, I still think it has a lot of legs, still can do a lot of things, still very good in a Carmuncle deck. It's just, I, I feel like I was a bit more all in on it. Mm-hmm. And now I'm kind of taking a step back a little bit because I feel like it's not, because like now the summons are going to hit it, the summons that we thought we were going to be able to like play around now yeah. hit it, which kind of stinks. But um, yeah, I think that's still the card that's most exciting to me. Well, yeah. it's it's good in what we had talked about earlier. Yeah. There's, there's another card that makes it still be good. Yeah, not, that, that might be mine for that element, but we'll get to that. Mine, I'm going to pull an Adam Duncan. I'm going to cash in mine. My you favorite Earth mine. cards I'm not excited are the boys. Yeah. I'm real excited for Noctis, Gladio, Ignis, and Prompto. I think they're all super neat. I think, uh, but if I, I, I'll go in least to most. Uh, the one I'm least excited about is probably Prompto. I think he's good. Um, it's a piece of removal. I think it, you know, if you think that card's going to be in a deck, it stops you from going wide. Because the minute you hit four, oh, it. It's part well, of time. The tough thing is, I don't want to like steal too much of your. No, time. go ahead. Like you're already when you see, like yellow cards, you already have to play around Shantoto. You have to. Yeah. And now you have to worry about this card too, where it's like, yeah, okay, you want to get the full value out of Prompto, but sometimes he just breaks one thing and you're fine. Oh yeah. Oh, sometimes yeah. enough to slow him down. Sometimes he just kills a Lua by himself, which I'll t- I'll pay six. Oh, one hundred percent. Because it's so, worth like, it's worth yeah. the three damage at least she's gonna put. Yeah. On you. So like I mean, if I'm, if I'm at two backups and like they play a turn two a Lua, I'm hundred percent promptoing that next turn. Yep. Dead. It's dead. So like, yeah, because because you can target her twice, and yep. and you get to pick the order in which they resolve. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think he just gives a different dynamic, and he forces you to play around Earth a little differently, which is pretty good for them. Yep, I agree. He's a burst, which is nice. Uh, the burst probably was like, like at least from my experience, it like never did. Yeah, yeah. The burst, the burst when it hits, it's like, oh, I probably just win here. Yeah. Um, 
And the other thing, um, uh, the next one is probably the uh, baby, uh, baby knock the rap god is what me and John Schreiner are calling him. <laughs> baby knock the rap god because I think he's good. He comes in. Uh, he comes in. Uh, he's gonna. You're revealing. He's, he's in the ex verse too, isn't he? I believe. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think he is. Oh, let me double check. Not. Yeah, no, Noctis. Noctis. Oh, Noctis. 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 Baby Noctis. Little Noct the Rat. Yeah, he's a burst. So he's a burst, and you look at the, what? You reveal the top two, and you get a 15 character from him, yeah. which could be good. So he could potentially replace himself, but if not, you pay two CP for him. And the fact that he makes Gladio cost two, like, there's no reason. There's no, if, you're, if you know you're in an aggressive match, like later in a tournament, there's no reason you can't go turn one Noctis, look at the cards. Oh, did I just grab a Gladio? Boom. Gladio for two. So you've got two bodies on the board. You've paid four CP for it. Um, I think he's good in the fact that it's just like S and uh, S right. and a Earth, and you can just break a monster. Yeah. Pfft, so strike. really, really good. Um, the next after that is Ignis. I think Ignis is a really, really good card. Bill, he's a burst. Um, you know, he, he's your typical five CP seven K. He's going to get you a. He's going to get you a Noctis, which is really good because he can he can get you know the bully Noctis or he can get the two CP Noctis. And the fact that he gives Gladio and Noctis plus 1,000 and Brave, and any other, uh, uh, he gives all 15 characters. So mm-hmm. he makes Arden a 10K, with, but not that he already had, didn't have Brave, but that's fine, whatever. Um, that's just being greedy, because you're not running Arden. Um, so he's going to get you a card, he's going to make those cards better, and he's got an S that is probably going to kill something for just S and Earth. And he's a burst, so I think he's good. Uh, but Gladio is the one I'm really excited about because a I think the fact that you're putting a two CP nine or ten K on the board more times than not I think is just good. Um, I think he's got a very relevant S, especially once like you get all the boys out and you're just like all right I'll attack ten K with Brave, and now I'll just Cyclone and kill your board before it blocks and they just swing through with the rest of the gang. So I think that package is neat. I think they synergize very well together. They there's a um, I. I I guess I, the reason I'm least excited about Prompto is I feel like he doesn't help the rest of the gang. He doesn't. I think he's also going to see the most play outside of just like the... Well, right, but he, does, so he didn't help anyone in the game either. That's fair. He Touché. was just there to like take a picture. What's yeah, up, Touché. guys? But, but I, th- I, I, I think they're a very flavorful package, and I'm really excited to play it. Hmm. So, Adam Duncan, you're up next. I don't play a lot of Earth cards. I'm going to take a weird one here. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like the Archangel on Earth, and I don't know why. I think the implications of the card are really good. So it's 2 CP, choose a dull forward at the end of your opponent's next turn, break it. Um, that That's actually uh, just a really unique effect on a 2 CP body that can mm. sit there and you can chump with it and it's still going to break. So does you it, can do something. Does that get around uh, like Camel Knot? Like choosing? It's a delayed trigger. So if you were able to get Camel Knot before he changes, yes, he'll still die the next You turn. probably aren't. You're going to really have to build a deck around that because he's going to come down and uh, if they see you're playing Earth, they're probably not, they're probably going to name Earth. I mean, you have to have you have a way of dulling him before he's changed from. Uh, well, but I'm saying they, they swing with him. Well, they'd have, if, if he, they swing, yeah, and they, yeah. then he's already earth. If they swing and he's not earth, that's a good way. True. Okay. That's an incredible yeah, you're right. Rate. Never mind. It's yeah. an incredible rate, and, and that's what I think the upside of the card is really appealing for two CP. Um, you're getting a blocker that can probably that, that if you're going to play it, it's going to break something. Mm. So at least if you pick like a high value target that they don't want to lose, like Noctis or something, or really anything. I you mean, can Phoenix this. Ooh. Ooh, how about that? The spice. How about that? That would be a hell of a play right there. What an answer. Pretty good. A nice swing. Cool. I'm going to Phoenix block and then it's dead <laughs> yeah. next turn. Yeah. yeah. Count the shells, suck yeah. it up. Yeah. <laughs> and then, if you know, yeah. So, I mean, think about uh, all the things that. Uh, there's a lot of forwards that seem like it'd be pretty good to remove for 2CP. For sure. Austin Archer, how about you, sir? Uh, I really like Glavy. Glaive is good. Um, I think Glaive is a really good card. Glaive, I, it just seems good. Uh, I'm interested to play Miss Dirty Diana herself. Um, I think she's going to be a good card. I'm interested to see what that does. Um, also, well, it's probably going to be too slow, but the Puma. Yeah. I, I think the I, I don't know. Maybe it's too slow. I think it, maybe if you play with Mira, maybe. But then yeah. Mira has to live. And, uh, I just, yeah. It's too much I, I, rabbit hole I, Honestly, I think, I think I'm just like swayed by Puma because I played it today and it just did so well oh, in Limited. Oh, in, in Limited is great. Um, I really like but the yeah. Cat from Almond Cat set, so. <laughs> yeah, Puma is Puma. It's pretty good, too. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Glaive is... The, uh, I, and I think Glaive is just like a good old-fashioned wild card because like you get set up to play this... Earth, Lightning, Final Fantasy Legends build, but Glaive is like 
Search your deck for soul. And you're like, you're like shit. <laughs> Soul's a good card. Glaive is like, I cut what the breaks. What do I do? <laughs> right? That's wild what, card. That's, Woo! that's what Glaive says. Wild card. Search for soul. <laughs> shit. I wasn't thinking fire when I was building this deck. And the fact that he makes soul. Like, you can just be like, Glaive, egg is soul. Now here comes... What does he give her? All all legends characters plus two K. Yeah, here just comes a nine K brave haste coming at you. Yeah, Geesh. yeah. You never expect yeah. the nine K brave haste. Oh, no, it's, it's just it's the Spanish Inquisition. It's just come <laughs> out of nowhere. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it's like Sting coming from the rafters. That, that is that baseball. Is what, oh, God, that's Saul's music. <laughs> My God, that's Saul's music. Stop the damn match. But yeah, I think I think I think Glaive is a very interesting card. I think he does a lot for. He, he he allows you because doesn't he also search Diana? Yeah, he either gets soul or he Diana. Gets Diana. So that's like, that's the one. Yeah, it's like shit. He gets the dirty girl herself. You have a choice here. You can go one way or the other, or if you're a wild card, you go both. So I think that's <laughs> neat. I think that's a good call. All right, so now we're going to move to water. Lightning, right? Lightning. Would be oh, lightning. Right. Lightning, yeah, lightning. lightning. Yeah. So for me, it's a starter card actually. Oh yeah. So I'm picking for Dola. I think she's nuts. Mm-hmm. Um. I just want to play like backups that I can't normally recycle and just play her and make her really big and then play those backups again. Yeah. Like playing just like ramping with Sid Previa, playing one CP backups, Mm -hmm. playing X Death, killing my X Death, play another X Death. And Uh, it keeps the power buffs. And the power buff is permanent. Yeah. Which I think is like the first instance of that in this game Mm -hmm. um, where you actually have to like kind of keep track of a power buff that's like going to keep stacking if you want it Mm -hmm. to keep stacking. Yeah. It is removed from the game, so you can't do tricky stuff with like Fasoya or something like oh, that. Oh, that's fine. But I think if you just make it where like you don't care about where you're removing, like like X Death, like the one CPs. Yeah. And like your searchers, like okay, cool. I might play a deck that has three Sid Clan going now. Because you can do it and not feel bad about it. <laughs> and they'll just do it again. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. It feels really good. It's doing it and doing it and doing it right. <laughs> the great LL Cool J. So yeah, I mean, I, I want to experiment with that. It's like a different kind of style. Like still have like your usual suspects, but like. No. A way heavy ramp, I think, is what I'm thinking. Oh, that's fair. Um, for me, it's probably Alma. I think Alma might just be the best fire, uh, light fire, lightning card in the set. I think that card is extremely powerful. Um, it's just such a monster punish, especially when that that thing in conjunction with a Lua. Like Alma's just gonna win you games because it's got the best keyword in the game. As long as you what can have like two dull four. Your opponent has two dull forwards. They have two. I think it's two. Yeah, that card is. Nuts. Yeah, two or more dull forwards that gains haste. Yeah, I mean, yeah. also it just moves something out of the way for Lua. I think I mentioned that when we had a podcast when it was shown. Yeah, it's like now I play a Lua turn two, I swing, and you're like, okay, I got to put a forward in front of a Lua to block her, and then you're like, psych, Alba, dull it. Yeah, and like yeah. swing again. Yeah, I call her Alma. Alba. Yeah, yeah. I was like Alma. Alma. Alba. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. she's yeah. a that, water that, card. That, Chris. That, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, I think that card is nuts. I'm a big fan. All right, Adam, what you got? Oh, yeah, it's been stuck in my head since we were talking about Gal hitting electric jellyfish and uh, <laughs> giving himself haste and then Dellen, the bu- the blocker he does. I mean, that seems like a really fun, aggressive play. I don't know if I'm playing a water lightning monster deck, but if you I call am, that dumb I've gorillas. gone a long way. Uh, yeah. Well, the cool thing is you don't need to play anything other like lightning other than that. Because yeah. Gal can just get it back. Yeah. I really like Janae, though. I just think the card is, fits my style. I love what it does. It's, um, I think it's the first really good back attack card, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, he can come down and just do a lot of fun stuff. And it's I, FF Legends, which is so relevant. So relevant. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I, because I mentioned the, the boy earlier that finds his girl, Miss Dirty Diana herself, the, the package is just so strong. Like, we, we proxied up some stuff and we played the other day, and it was, it was such a blowout at end of games because you pitched it already, you know, to play something earlier. You just play that uh, Diana, you get back an Alba, and then you're dull in two forwards and swinging with an Alua. Like, yeah, and the Alba because the Alba has haste. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, and, like, it's just that Diana just, it's such a value engine. Yeah. And granted, I mean, like, whatever, she's a 6K, like, she can get blown up, but. Oh, it doesn't matter. It, she, it doesn't, she's a 1 CP 6K. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you're, you're pitching the Diana, you're, you know, you're pitching the Alba to play the Diana, you're getting it back, and then. Or she can get back your man, Papa Shango. Yeah, oh. well, good. I, I mean, I don't know if uh, Mr. I think she gets back grants too. She does get back grants. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, Look, you can thing. keep drawing cards with good and, old Pappy. And the funny thing is, we kept we, when we first saw Diana, we had said that this card will be as good as what the FF yeah, was. And, and yeah, I, I think they got the some, package. I think it's is good. there. Can we, I think she's good because can of we it. pour one out for another package? Yeah, the Turks. 
Dude, I okay. I was so excited. I was so excited. Terrible, but like literally, what, what I said was I was afraid it was gonna happen. Happened even worse because they, they didn't. They, all they got was one forward. Yeah, because yeah. Reno was a uh, Reno was a, fo- a forward in chapters. Yeah. It's just something to look forward to. And they, in the future they didn't even yeah. give a sing or Elena. They didn't yeah. give us. Come well, on, man. Hopefully, they get more support next set. Yeah, maybe, maybe the next time they put seven as a focus, they'll give us like the before crisis. Yeah, I think church, they need like, to go oh. before that. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, those cards are just bad. That's yeah, they're true. not good. It, that 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 you're talking when I'm talking about box busters. No, oh, Rufus. Rufus right, Rufus right now. Is Rufus a box, buster, box buster for sure. Gonna get like eight foils of him. No, that's coming. Yeah, poor Turks. Uh, and now water. Go ahead. Uh, it's tough. So there's a lot of good stuff in water too, but there are. the most fun for me, I guess, or like the one I'm more excited to play. You, it's okay if you want to say Gramps. It's fun. <laughs> it's definitely not Gramps. He's a pretty bland card, <laughs> but I do think he bites you some. Uh, maybe the whale zombie. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I always like monsters. It's a gal target. It's a really good gal target. I think. I think so too. I feel like a lot of people are hinging on like, oh, I'm gonna like look at the top and draw, but you don't have to do that. No. You can literally like. Play it, draw a card, because like, let's assume you're in a situation where all you want to do is draw. You don't really like need something specific, so you just play it. You draw a card. You, so let's say you have you're playing a facility deck because you're playing water. Now, like any time I want, even if you're attacking me or if I'm about to facility, I can line up a burst. Mm-hmm. Seems mm-hmm. good. It seems okay to me. Yep. Uh, or I can like determine what I'm going to draw the next turn as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really dynamic. Like, yep. it's a really really good draw card. I think like it really maybe is. one of the best in the mm-hmm. game. Yeah, I think that, I think Whale Zombie is a really good card, and I think it will see play. Mine is one that you know we had talked about earlier. Um, I'm still really high on Moogle Knight in a Carbuncle deck, and while he lost the the what you know the, the fact that he still can't take damage from forwards is fine because that eliminates a lot of problems. Here's Zoss for the Grouch, right? No, <laughs> mine, is the, mine is the two CP Garnet. No, I think that card's insane. I think that card is nuts in a Carbuncle deck because it's a two CP five K, so it's right at the sweet spot. And the fact that it reduces the damage on all forwards by from summons by five thousand, mm. that is nuts. And the fact because now it's that gives Mo- cause that, yeah because that gives Moogle Knight now that protection. It does, yeah. Yeah, as long as you have both of them out, now he's protected. Yeah. And and Garnett's a two CP five K. She is in the sweet zone for yeah. a Carbuncle deck, and I, I think she's good. I think. She, and then um um she had, doesn't she have other techs? I can't remember what else she has. Uh, she she does. She uh when she she activates a four when she comes into play. Yeah. That's fine. So if they dole and free, if and they do burst, something, by the way. which is really good because yeah. they, you know, because obviously when your opponent's playing, at least this happened on Tuesday when we were there, people were playing against Moogle Knight. They were real quick to dull and freeze it. Yeah. Well, you play her, activate Moogle Knight. Now sure, you're on, yeah. now you're back in a good spot. So I think that's the card I'm most excited to play about because I'm still I'm still really in on that Moogle Knight deck, the mm-hmm. Carbuncle deck. So I think that's good. Adam Duncan, uh, I'm going to take a little, little different route here. The two cards I'm uh, most afraid of in this set, because um, again, coming from Mono Wind, watching this entire set get spoiled, saying what hurts Mono Wind. Uh, that one drop Alexander is very, very good. Very, very good. The fact that it gets Ishtola off the field for a very good rate, mm-hmm. and it gets Death Gaze off the rate. If it's if Death Gaze is as good as I think it is, mm-hmm. that's that's a very good card. But what's better, Luna Freya. Luna Freya takes Diabolos down a peg in a big way, I think. Mm-hmm. And I think that card's going to see a lot of play. Okay. If I Luna, if I, Dia, if I Diabolos your um, Cloud of Darkness, then you just get it back and you get a trigger again, or your Lena. I mean, it, there's a lot of five drops in water. that. Yeah, and that card makes you have to use Diabolos when you really don't want to, yeah, it or makes at it a time a, that's not as It optimal. takes a dimension away from the card. It makes it the card worse. Like, a couple other cards in the set make the card worse, mm-hmm. and that's okay. It needed to be taken down a bit yeah. peg, but... Um, the fact that that backup does is something I, I think I just respect, and I think yeah. people are going to be on it. I think that Alexander has some implications with uh, the old hope too. Yeah, definitely sure does. Yeah, uh, being able to activate your backups no, all for of just them. one CP. Yeah, for one CP seems okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, so lightning round, light and dark cards. We only got four to choose from. <laughs> did you pick a water card? Oh, I'm sorry, Austin. I just, I'm so sorry. I'm such an asshole. <laughs> well, because I literally could care less about water. Um, uh. Ninja. I, didn't, I, I, I just. Ninja as well. I, I yeah, think. Awesome, I, I think it's honestly like I know it's probably never gonna happen, but I'm just thinking about like stealing people's stuff and then like having it in ice water and then renewing their thing that you stole to then do shit back to them. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> I don't know. Well, the only thing that's actually like <laughs> not to like rain on your parade. If you renew that, they actually get us back to their side. 
Oh, but then you just, well, you just stand for it. It's fun. Yeah, but then that that's not as fun. I don't know. I think it's a good card. It's oh no, I like awesome. it a lot too. I, yeah. I think it might be okay in the carnival context. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in that sweet spot. To five k. Yeah. 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 Honorable mention to Freya. We haven't seen haste in water before, and um, the card could be okay. Yeah. None of us mentioned Zidane too, and I think Zidane's a very yeah. scary. I, I, yeah. I think I think Zidane might be one of the most powerful cards. In yeah, this you're definitely gonna want to build around Zidane. Yeah, I and I, I it took me. It took one game of seeing that guy get dropped. <laughs> yeah, we, one. I'll, I'll just go on like a small side tangent because he's getting blown up by we, Irvin. We were both building the same deck. And we had like we wanted, we wanted to like come at it from two different sides so we could see like what cards we like. So I came more like standard unit heavy, and he came more like just Old more focused on Carbuncle. And I put three Zidane in my deck, and, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm not sure if it's that great." And I was like, "Man, have you played a Zidane on turn one yet?" And we played the very first game, and I turned one Zidane, and he didn't have an answer for it. Game was over. And I said, yep. I was like, yep, that card is every bit advertised. Unit out of here is a thing. I, like, I, I can't hours do this. You're in, you're fucking out. It was so fast. And then, like, I'm a Blanca. And then all night long, I would play like turn ones a day. And the, the only time it bit me was the, my only loss that night was to Curtis. And I swung was a day in turn one. I got Chaos Walker. And I was like, well, shit. But yeah. I still got the two cards, though. Yeah. Uh, I, also, Colin, the, Colin other, really the other highlight of that night was the Gabranth versus uh, Gladio uh, stack from I'll, hell. I'll tell you all about this after that, but yeah. well, I, I guess we haven't talked about it on the podcast. Yeah. So I'll tell, we had a stack with six Carbuncles, two Hecaton Chairs, a Titan. We both had Graviton. And like two Cockatrices. And there was, I want to say, five Floras on board. Yeah, and then two ca- two Cockatrices. The only thing left standing after all that result was one Gladio that was 19k. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. And no and then it was whole pretty thing ridiculous. It's it probably I, the most think ridiculous if, stack I think if Dottaluma was involved in there anywhere, <laughs> You'd still I, be think, there. I think we would still be playing that round this week. <laughs> For yeah. sure. It was pretty crazy, but yeah, Chris ended up winning out of the trade because like it was just like we had to make sure like stuff was resolving right. We made sure like we kept everything on the table to make sure like it was resolving. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I was like, if the math adds up, when that, yeah. I was like, glad it was one k bigger. He was one k bigger than Michael Brand. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was. It was such a nutty stack. I was like, I don't think Opus Eight gets much better than this. <laughs> yeah. But that was good. Um. All right. So yeah, I mean, all solid choices here. Now we've got light and dark. I think these are all going to be pretty easy. Adam, light and dark. We're just going to knock them both out. I guess I'll pick Rain. I yeah. think he just has more interesting implications than the other card. Yeah, I, I feel like the summons are very high-costed. I'm not sure how good they're going to be in yep. standard. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Veritas of the Dark just seems like... He's okay mm-hmm. in the right deck, but I, I'm, I, I, it's not Galvis. Yeah. yeah. If, if you got to choose, it'd be so much better. Yeah. yeah. I think we're all kind of in agreement here. I think Rain is the light card we're all excited I, about. I, I think, think so. I think I think Rain I think Rain is a really really good card cuz I, I, I remember man Medin. I think Medin's okay. I think it's okay. But, yeah, I it's, think, but the problem is in, in standard it being two sided is a big deal. However, with yeah. that but Garnet with could, Garnet with Garnet it could be really interesting because Garnet makes like all your stuff survive. If if legendary Cecil water Cecil was still a good card, yeah. that would be really fun to do. Well, that also like par of here, but you're still paying so much money at yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, you're, whoa, yeah, you're whoa, adding, Chris. You're adding attacks onto the eight CDs. Yeah, whereas side. you just like Garnet just uh, makes it. Yeah, so Garnet much living for a turn is feasible at least, you know. Yeah. And, and then Medine in the next turn, or even Garnet plus Medine in the same turn could is possible. But yeah. but Rain, I feel like the one thing, uh, his job is very interesting. His jo- he's the only yep. light or dark knight in the set. Yep. No, that's uh, in, the, in the game. He's the only yeah. light. He's, there's only one. He's the only non-colored yeah. knight. Well, I think uh, I think the water lightning knight deck was already actually kind of under the radar, yeah. and that he's a really good card. I think Veritas of the Dark is a little bit better than you're giving it credit for. Isn't it fan for it just twice? I, I don't body? think I don't think it's bad. I just think no, like they they get to pick the them. fact yeah. that on the on the way in, in, on the way in it's they, a forward they select yeah, on the way, way out, out it's a character. character. So they they're gonna lose a probably a backup on the way out if their board is empty. Um, and then, yeah, they, they can choose a backup on the way out if they want to keep their forward. I, well. I do think if your opponent has, like, a forward and a backup out and you just oh, pay no, six slam Veritas, it's, it's like, oh, I'm I think fine. it's pretty good in Water Ice where you can afford these higher cost of guys, yeah. but I don't know if it's better than Nidhogg, really. I'd rather yeah. pay the 3CP more yeah. and then blink the Nidhogg, and I'm doing way more damage to you, I feel. Um, yeah. And then Gaudis is just a... While that card is powerful, it's like Gaudis is a 50% discount. Like, yeah. paying three for Gaudis instead of six. That's That's really where I'm at. I don't think it's a bad card. I think if you can afford to cast it at six, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Star Sybil can get it in there too. Sure, yeah, yep. yeah, you can break Star Sybil. Yeah, maybe, and maybe Earth Wind. It's like a one of maybe you're playing like one Gaudis, one that one Cam, one Chaos. And yeah, that's your card package. And I do um, think just to go back to Rain, listen. Obviously, I think if every if no if not everybody's done it, go back and listen to JFB and Rob uh, Phillips' uh, review on. At least Rob was there for the first half, then he went to bed. 
But the way they describe light rain, they say it's like a worse Alua. That's like saying somebody's like, hey, that guy's like Michael Jordan, just not as good. <laughs> yeah. they, they could use yeah. any other analogy. Because, yeah. you know, that's a high bar. They could be like, that guy's like Kurt Rambis, but worse. That guy's like Bill Lambeer, but worse. It's like Barry Bonds with like 50 less home runs. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, like, the fact that someone's saying that card is like a Lua, but worse, like, like, and I agree with I agree with their assessment. The fact that if you're playing, they and it makes he makes fire nights relevant because that gives you access to six reigns. If you double undermine, you probably just win the game on yeah. the spot. Mm-hmm. I think I think that card is very very powerful, and I think it'll be. And I think once people see it, it's four K to the board. Four. It's it reduces power by four, That's so it's not even four K. It reduces power. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if it's a mono water card. It could be. I don't know. It they probably not. Be. They probably don't need it. But it could be in that fire water aggro deck, the fire water nine, because you can play rain in that, and then you can just boop 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 boop. Because I think you just because I think you just win the game off of that. Yeah. Um, and I feel like he's another one that you can just give all. He, he, he doesn't have built in haste, but you can be like all right, sure. haste, boop. I have reduced your board by two yeah. k, and now all my guys are two k bigger. Yeah. And then oh by the way, I'll undermine. Now all your guys are reduced by six k. And if you're playing it in fire water or something, you're. You're gonna have axe because you can play Firewater Knights now and still be a good deck. Mm-hmm. I like carrying the Yuri Torch of just I like I like a, a light and a dark card being like this is your light card. This is the card that is powerful enough that you're choosing this and you're going with it and you're comfortable with it. And I like that he's he's there. You can yeah. and I, I and I think Rain. If I had to make one prediction, I think Rain might be a card you see a lot of at the Tampa Crystal Cup. I think that that's my. Uh, we'll we'll get into that in a later episode. We're going to talk about predictions for the first North American Crystal Cup. But that's that is my early Swami pick. I think you're going to see a lot more of that card than you think because I, I think that that's a card that people. It, it's it's on a lot. Of, that, it's a card everybody's unsure yeah. about, and people are going to be looking at it because I, I think that card's very powerful. I'm surprised to hear anyone's unsure of it because I saw it and I said, mm, "Well, there's that." And, and uh, when, it, when he attacks, he turns into Elish Norm, which is huge. It's huge. Mm. Yeah. Now, obviously, he has to attack, but you you can give him haste. And if that's fine, if you're going to use removal on it at that point, I guess that's fine. But then if you have another one in response, you can just undermine and then I'd have reduced all your stuff by 4K, which is literally the same swing anyway. Or if you think they're setting up, if you, if you play it, you can just undermine it. You've reduced them by 4K. That's literally the same swing you would have had 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 you attacked with them. Yeah, so, then, then you attack with Beatrix next. And you're like, yeah. did you have forwards? I don't care about them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. I think that card is really, really good. But that's all I got. We've gone a little a little long tonight, but I think... It's not I think the longest. I, yeah, we, yeah, not, <laughs> this always happens when we're together. It's true. <laughs> There are no five colored ninjas to talk about. The ninjas <laughs> did come up a couple times in the case. I'm gonna find a way. I, I think it's fine. Yeah, e- Iza Yoi might finally see her day. Iza Yoi might finally have her chance to shine. Is that how it's pronounced? Iza Yoi. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's, I doubt it, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe a Tampa. He's a. He's, a, go. he's a not gonna work in here. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing. I'm bringing a five color ninja deck to Tampa to gunsling with. Oh, That's God. happening. Do it, man. Do it. Bring it to the community today. Make it happen. Oh, that'd be great. But yeah, but I think that's going to wrap it up for episode 49. Again, next week is the Big 50. Um, I think we're going to have some really fun stuff for that one. Um, I'm lining up a really solid giveaway for that one. Um, you know, the fact that we've made it to 50 has been, you know, really exciting for us. And, you know, I couldn't think of a better way to lead into episode 50 than having the whole gang on. So, you know, as always, you know, I appreciate everybody listening. And obviously, you know, be on the lookout for our set reviews. Um, I think now that Opus 8 is out, you're going to start seeing some deck tech videos from us. Um, now that Opus 8 is out, I can have a fresh crop of Change My Mind cards because I think there's a couple I'm already looking at. So I think we're in good. I think we're in good shape. The content's going to be coming hot and heavy. Um, you know, too, if you're not going to the Tampa Crystal Cup, I think there are still some tickets available. If you haven't signed up and you're on the fence, I highly recommend going to a Crystal Cup. If you didn't go at all last season, you're like, man, I wish I'd have gone. I think this season is going to be even better. Mm-hmm. So go. And But if you can't go, if something happens, you're stuck, you got caught up, can't afford it, can't get off of work, tune into the stream because uh, we're going to take care of you guys. So 
I just want to turn into Florida Stanley and uh, just be playing. <laughs> oh, I want to be playing some cards at the like most broiest spots. If he downtown shows up Tampa. in like a white suit with like a hat and a convertible, <laughs> how you ladies mind. doing? You want to play a night deck? <laughs> <laughs> boy, talk about vagina repellent. <laughs> boy, boy howdy. <laughs> well, any, any parting thoughts before we uh, before we wrap this? I, I, I think that was more than enough. <laughs> I, I, I agree with that. So, with that, with that being said, friends, till next time. See ya. Hey, everybody! Thanks for listening once again to the RVA Returners podcast. If you like this content and you want to hear more, check us out on YouTube at RVA Returners, and make sure you follow us on SoundCloud and check us out on Google Play and iTunes. Yeah.